Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Dre back at it again with another video, and we are back again with the sound of the career mode. This is episode eight, and boys, you guys already know we've been improving so much in this career mode already. We're finally out of the relegation zone. But anyways, we're back here with another banging episode and hopefully we can pick up some points once again. I just want to continue to thank you all for the amazing support in this series. Like I said, I had never expected support like this in a career mode ever. So, like I said, you guys are the GOATs. You guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for the support. But if you guys do go out and enjoy this video, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. Get notified anytime we do post. I know I mispronounced that. But yeah, uh, the, the, the journey will continue here for my YouTube career and also as this career mode. So make sure to... Click that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I do post. So before we start this episode, I just want to let you guys know uh, two two things. One, um, since we did reach 200 subscribers, by the way, if you're new, we just reached 200 subscribers. So we're trying to do a QA, and a so make sure to leave some questions down below. I already have like two. I need a couple more, obviously. So yeah, try to leave some more suggestions down below for Q&A. As well, this is the last episode before the January transfer window. So make sure to leave your transfer suggestions. By the way, I already got some, so I'll show you guys some of them in a little bit. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Something doesn't feel right. I just, I'm not wide awake yet. So let's go ahead and wake up. Yes, boys. Now, with these on, I should be wide awake. Yes, it's probably getting old, this joke. But it's been working out so far. So we're not going to go ahead and change this until it stops working out. And I think of another costume. Costume, right? To go ahead and figure out. So... Like I said, we did have some transfer suggestions. Nick obviously suggested like 30 players, which I liked. Like, obviously, I liked all of the players he suggested, but one is specific that we're going to add to the short list. So it's someone by the name of, I forgot his first name, Aster. Aster Ranks. By the way, if we do sign him, we're going to call him Aster. So he's a very young center mid, and I think he's an all around center mid as well, which is something we do need. And I did get another suggestion from BD Cave, which was two suggestions. One from was from our youth academy, so we'll get to that right now. But another one was Trevor Chaloba. So Trevor Chaloba obviously has been shining in real life for Chelsea. But obviously in the career mode, I don't think he's playing. So he'd be a, a pretty decent backup center back. Also considering that we do focus on youth in the Southampton. Uh, obviously, like the style of Southampton. But the other transfer suggestions, thank you, Nick. But um, I don't think they're a little bit realistic for this career mode. But I will save them for the next career mode. Like I said, um, as well as leave your new transfer suggestions down below. However, um, BD Cave also suggested for us to sign White House. He is 60 rated. And he has 17, so we should go ahead and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, we should go ahead and sign him and we should go ahead and loan him out. So I'll go ahead and sign him as soon as we get. No, actually, no, he suggested Daniels. Yeah, he did suggest Daniels, not White House. But um, what I'm probably gonna do is sign everyone up in January and try to loan them out. And they don't loan out, but we'll see what happens. I also changed Menendez's position to uh, center back, and now he grew a plus two. Now 62, he is a 64 now. So, like I said, those are really the suggestions that I did receive for this upcoming episode. Right before we do get into this episode, the player of the episode of the last episode was finally, I was expecting him to have all of them so far. It is Adam Armstrong. So Adam Armstrong does pick up his first player of the episode, getting three goals in the last episode, I do believe. But now let's go ahead and get on to the fan objective. Okay, we are back with our banging fan objectives. Shout out to the viewers who did suggest this. But only one of them did change, which was Adam Armstrong from four to six goals. And that's pretty much it. Everybody else has stayed the same. So um, we're still waiting for that first Armstrong to Armstrong connection for that first goal. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this episode. Okay, boys. So we're playing against an interesting team here. And we're back in the relegation zone, as you can see, due to games played, I do believe. Yeah, they finally caught up to us in the games played. So we're obviously tied with uh, 17th and 16th place. So a win can send us all the way to 15th, possibly all the way up to 12th, depending on goal difference. But we're playing against 9th place Crystal Palace, which is a very interesting team, like I said, because in the future, I would maybe want to do a Crystal Palace crew mode, if you guys want to see that after this one, maybe. Because we do want to wait for Creative Club for mods and also the Mr. Joy crew mode for the mods as well because it would be just way better. So yeah, leave me down below if you guys would like to see a Crystal Palace crew mode after this one. But as for the lineup, like I said, Stuart Armstrong has not been impressing me. But I kind of want to give him another goal because we do need that Armstrong to Armstrong connection. So we're going to go ahead and keep him in. But I actually want to give a couple players that usually don't play a goal against Palace. Maybe we shouldn't doubt Palace, but still. Look, like Jack Stephens has not played in a while. We're going to go ahead and take off Salisu. Benarek has been the better center back in my opinion of them too. So we're going to go ahead and put him in. Jennifer is going to go back to the reserve so we can put Valor in the bench. And maybe we can bring him in in halftime for Livermento. So Stephens is the only change in the starting lineup as well as... Um, Jennifer was dropping to reserves just for this one game. So let's go ahead and get into this game against Crystal Palace and hopefully we we'll pick up this victory. Are you guys ready for the overuse clip in my channel? Yes, you guys are. For the like eighth episode in a row. No, sixth episode in a row. We do this just to hype, hype us up with the music. Here we go, boys. Against Crystal Palace. Did I mute the game again? 
<sighs> I think I made it the game again. Let me go ahead and fix it. Yeah, I'm sorry. When I tend to play Ultimate Team, I play Ultimate Team like an hour a day or something like that. I tend to just mute the game. And okay, so like I said, we're here at Selhurst Park against Crystal Palace. It's a very, very hard place to come to. I think the Crystal Palace fans are hella effective when it comes to home games. That's what Crystal Palace have been doing so well. And to be honest, they have a young squad. That's mainly why I would want to do a crew mode on them. But right now, we're focused on the here. We're focused on the right now with Southampton. And we're going to win this game against Crystal Palace no matter what place they're in. Even though they're in ninth place and we're in 18th. But I think we're still going to pick up this victory. And let's see who are they highlighting. And of course, FIFA likes. Oh, they're trying to line up. I can't show that. Okay, here we go. We're skipping this. And okay, boys. I'm looking forward to this game. Last episode was the first time we didn't lose a single game in an episode. So I'm really looking forward to this episode as in, as in we're going to do really, really good. Hopefully. Okay, into Hughes. Back into Kuyate. But what process does win here? And now it's Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong. Our top scorer, it's Adam Armstrong, he's gonna cut back, Adam Armstrong, just have a finesse on your left foot, is he gonna score? And he doesn't, and Ward Prowse is right in front of the goal, but he refuses to tap it in, but we still have this corner here, Alton Edward, it's Alton Edward on the ball, we have to be careful here, Alton Edward, no, it's still Alton Edward, oh, he's a baller, into Cantero, Cantero with a finish, great save by Johnstone, and now we're on the counter-attack here, it's Ward Prowse, Ward Prowse on the ball, into Adam Armstrong, come on Adam Armour, bro, oh, it's still him, okay, Ward Prowse, Stuart Armstrong, who hasn't done much since we changed the formation, Stuart, it's Stuart Armstrong. Oh, just hold it just a little bit. Romeo, you have space. Into Chele. Now it's Chele on the ball. It's Chele. Okay, he loses it, but it's still Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong. Surely he's going to be a finish here. Adam Armstrong. He does pick up a goal. Another goal for him this season. 7 out of 22. He's finally getting amongst the goals. And uh, does that count as a Chele assist? I don't think so. But we're finally kicking on. Like I said, we're finally getting used to this legendary difficulty with this formation. Shout out to Lee once again. I cannot thank you enough. Now we're winning this game 1 0. And I told you, I just told you we're going to win against. Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. Like, we're wearing the shades, bro. That's all that matters. But hopefully we can continue with this form and pick up this victory. Great header. Walker Peters. Romo. I do see Cho. Into Chele. Now it's Chele on the ball. Into Adam Arma. Adam Arma. He does. Let it cross. Oh, I was looking for Stewart there. Trying to get that Armstrong connection. But it's Adam. Into Che. Chele. Chele back in. Oh, I was freaking out. I don't know what to do. They kept the blocking us here. But we have another corner. Like I said, we don't score from corners, but today that changes because it's a cross in from Ward Prowse and it's horrible cross in from Ward Prowse. What are you doing, bro? Holy say. Into Nathan Ferguson. Nathan Ferguson is on the ball. Okay, we have to be careful here. Michelle Lees. Will Hughes. Oh, how did you miss that tackle? Kuyate into Will Hughes and he's going to score. That tackle was crucial. The fact that he missed that tackle made, the, made sure we conceded that goal. What the? Why is the screen just... Why is it black? Okay, anyways, whatever. Um... If he would have made that tackle, they wouldn't have scored that. I don't know how he missed that tackle, bro. <sighs> Jack Steffens, I put you in, buddy, so you can get some game time. And you could have just won that tackle easily, but you didn't, bro. Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy. It's still Hudson. Now it's Hudson. 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 Oh my god, you're so fast, Hudson. And it's still Hudson. Who's gonna find? Nobody's helping him out. It's Hudson. You do it after all alone. Hudson. It's to Adam Armstrong. Turn Adam Armstrong. Finish it. Let's go. 2 1. We turn it right back around. We did take the lead exactly like. On halftime, it's about to be halftime as soon as we're done celebrating. Adam Armstrong gets his brace for a second time. Like, back-to-back -back episodes, he gets a brace. And now it's 8 out of 22 for him. And it's looking really, really positive for us. Like I said, we didn't see that goal, but we're scoring way more goals. And we're playing way better now. And Adam Armstrong gets another goal, boys. Okay, we have to be careful here. Because like we're just throwing, we're lunging into tackles, and that's dangerous. But Austin Edward is looking dangerous in this game. His dribbling is like... So good in FIFA for some reason. He just keeps dribbling past me. But great tackle by Stuart Armstrong. And now it's Romeo into Adam Armstrong. To Stuart Armstrong. Please, this has to be the one. This has to be the one. Stuart Armstrong, please, you have to score this. Actually, give it to Adam Armstrong instead. Please. No, we could have had our first Armstrong to Armstrong connection. Bro, I was going to be so happy right now. And to be honest, for me, completing the objective is just getting one. Okay, because you know how hard it's been? It's been eight episodes and we still haven't been able to complete it, bro. Like, at least one. Looking for another dangerous counter-attack here. I'm going to cross it in early. It's a Chad Adams. Chile. I said Chad Adams. What am I saying? That is not his name. Now he's not going to score at all in this episode. It's the 69th minute. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and make some substitutions. I'm not funny at all. Let's see. Who are we bringing in? I did say we're going to bring Valerie in. Livermento. Give, get some rest, buddy. Tella is unhappy. I guess he hasn't been performing too well. So we're going to go ahead and put him in. Because Nathan Tella is the best youngster. Best winner kid in this league. Remember, guys? You guys have to remember that. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put Eddie Nussi. Let's put him at center mid here. Obviously, he loses some whatever. Let's put him center mid. We're probably playing that more defensive role. So, let's go ahead and see if these players can spark a little bit of creativity in us and try to score another goal. Ward Prowse. Adam Arma. It's Adam Arma. To Chile. Chile on the ball. Chile, what's he going to do? He's going to wait for Adam Arma for his first match ball, for the first match ball of the season. Yes, he does. The first hat trick in this out of the career mode is by Adam Arma. But... Full, full respect. 
Sí. Full respect to Chele for giving up his possible goal and gives it to Adam Armstrong instead. And we get our first match ball of this series. And it's good. It's good to see. It's good to see. It's really difficult for me to score goals in general in this new legendary difficulty. But a match ball is actually really impressive. And like I said, boys, it's it's I don't know if we got used to it. It's the shades or it's the formation change that's been helping us. But the point is, the good thing is that we're finally into form, playing how we should be playing. And we do pick up this 3-1 lead so far. Adam Armstrong gets his hat trick. By the way, I, this is how I see it in real life. Like, Chele, he, he wouldn't be the goal scorer in the side. Like, he's more of a creator. for some. Like, in his first season, he created so much for Danny Ings. And I, even in his second season, I believe he's, he played two seasons already at something. Like, he's just a, such a good creator, in my opinion. Like, I mean, yeah, he's a good striker, too. But he, he has very unlucky finishing in real life. But... I hope uh, they do kick on in real life, Chele and Adam Armstrong, and make a good partnership. Into us in the door. I see Nathan Teller. Teller into Chele. Chele for his goal for not being selfish earlier. And yes, he gets it, boys. He wasn't selfish earlier, and now he does get the goal he does deserve. Nathan Teller finally gets a second goal contribution. He should be happy about after this game, after performing already pretty well, just getting his assist. And you see with a crucial pass, Hudson Adoy into Teller, into Chele. Beautiful, beautiful play. We're playing like prime Barcelona. Obviously, Barcelona now, right now, because they're trash, but. We're playing really well today. This this form, this could keep us like in the top 10 if we continue to play like this. But obviously, we started really bad at the start of the season. So hopefully, we can continue like this because we want to be... Our goal is to finish top 10. Maybe not Europe. We probably won't finish Europe at this point anymore. But mainly to survive relegation. But if possible, top 10. Chele picks up the ball once again. It's Chele. Into Nathan Teller. We're making that run again. And it's Nathan Teller. Nathan Teller, what is he going to do? Is he going to get his first goal for the club in this career mode? And he doesn't. Great save by Guaita. 90th minute, boys. It should be the victory here, but we don't want to concede it. Can we actually score another one? Adam Armstrong. Into Chele. It's Chele on the ball. Trying to first brace here. It's still Chele. Chele. Nah, he's denied. And we do pick up this victory. Three points in the bag away from home at Selhurst Park. A difficult game, to say the least. There it is. The first ever match ball by a Southampton player this season, Adam Armstrong. And to be honest, in FIFA, I don't get too many match balls. I usually score all around the pitch, but we finally get one here in this career mode. Adam Armstrong was well Okay, after that victory in Selhurst Park against Crystal Palace, we're playing against last place Brentford in 20th place, and we're now out of the relegation zone in 17th. Okay, even though Brentford are in last place, we still have to put some respect because we don't know how they can play in each and every game. I do want to give Diallo a go. Diallo hasn't seemed to play at all in the Premier League. I'm sorry if there's an airplane that's just going through my recording. Can you please stop? Thank you. Okay, it's still going, but yeah. Romeo deserves a rest, even though he's been in all right form. Want to give Diallo a chance because he doesn't get to play too much. But we're still playing against a tough team in Brentford. Even though they're in 20th place, we cannot take them for granted because Ivan Tony could be very dangerous at any moment. So let's go ahead and get into this game and hopefully we pick up victory. We should be getting this victory against 20th place. This is like I said, a six point. Okay, boys, Adam Arma, the hat trick hero of last game. Can we pick up another victory here today? Like I said, boys, we're in the greatest of form so far in this career mode, the best form we've been at. And we're playing the best football we've played so far this season. And against Brentford, we have to continue that way. We cannot take them lightly just because they're in 20th place, like I said. In real life, they're killing it. But obviously, in FIFA, they're not killing it right now. But I do believe in them. Even Tony could be a player we can't sign in the future if we sell one of our strikers, which I probably wouldn't. I really love our strikers. But anyways, let's get into this game and hopefully pick up this victory. Okay, boys. Brentford at home. We're back at the St. Mary's. We have to pick up this victory in front of the fan. And now it's Chele. Chele into Adam Armstrong. He can't give a turn. Okay. I already feel like it's going to be a difficult game, even though they're in 20th. Like, I, I just feel it. We can't even get through once. They were mental. Great ball. And now Stuart Armstrong. Stuart into JWP. JWP. I see Hudson Odoi making that run. And it's a brilliant through ball by JWP. And now it's Cho. Cho. Finish it, Cho. Finish it. Make it 1-0. Oh, and it's a great save by David Raya. And now it's Chele. Chele's on the ball. Chele, what is he going to do with it? Looking for some space. I see Adam Arma. Adam Arma on the ball. Okay, we have to calm it down just a little bit. Word pause to Stuart Armstrong. Stuart to Cho. Back into... I freaked out just a little bit. Great through ball. Where's Livermento? What are you doing, Livermento? Livermento, get back. And now it's Henry. Rico Henry is also a very good player, in my opinion. Now it's a cross in. Johnstone. <gasps> oh, clear it out. Diallo. Nice clear out. Oh, I try to find Chele, but we lose it. But it's still Cho. And we lose it once again. Cho. Make a good pass. Now it's JWP. Opens it to Livermento. Livermento has not gotten an assist. I really want to get an assist. It's Livermento. Livermento on the ball. Just to relax a little bit. To Stewart. That's not to Stewart. But it's to Adam. It's to Chele. It's to Stewart. Okay, to Cho instead. Cho with the finish. Oh, if that, that was into Stewart, we would have scored. But I just clicked it right away thinking, oh, I was offside either way. What? How was that offside? There was on the ball. Through ball into Rico Henry. Come on, Livermento. He's not going to beat you. Yes. He got scared of Tino. You. He got scared of you, Tino. 
into Livermanto. Livermanto, I see Chele making that run. Livermanto into Chele. It's Chele in the ball. I see Adam Armstrong making that run. We're gonna give it to Adam Armstrong. Does he score? That's his fourth goal in this episode. Look, I know I sweated the ball, but we have to. And Adam Armstrong, see, we have to. Chele gets another, another assist. Player of the episode is gonna be hard for this episode. Chele and Adam Armstrong are just really clicking right now. But this is how we need to continue performing for the rest of the season. And I'm in love right now. I'm in love with the way we're performing. We're finally, finally performing how we should be. But at any moment, this all cannot change. Remember, we're playing against smaller sides right now. Palace and Brentford are not the best sides. We're playing big teams soon. Look how much it means to this man. 10 goals in 18 matches. Damn. That's probably in the cup, though, because he got two. Because right now, he only has nine, I do believe. He has one goal in the cup, I think. I don't know. Diallo, win that ball. Yes, Diallo. Yes, Diallo. Like that, you're gonna get more minutes. Adam Armstrong, it's Chele. Oh, Chele, 1v1 against the goalkeeper. Chele, you have to finish this. Chele, finish it, Chele. Chele. Dude, oh my god. This, this teamwork right here, Chele and Adam Armstrong, is absolutely disgusting. Oh my god. They're fronting. Oh, that, I love the animation. Yes, Chele, celebrate with the fans. They love you. You're the, you're the main man here in this club. I don't care if Adam Armstrong is the top goal scorer. You're Chele. You're the best player in this world, but beautiful I'm, I'm the same this partnership right now is absolutely disgusting it's gross like they need to relax because they've been scoring non-stop since the last episode and it's absolutely crazy but we have time and we're looking really good today boys we're looking really good today in this today's episode and we have one more game i, I don't know against who hopefully hope hopefully we just win it doesn't matter who we're playing against but it's a great through ball into whoever that is uh oh they're on the attack here brentford they're looking dangerous roster the left i don't know who that is but great Tag salisu came back into the side and he's doing amazing maybe i shouldn't have benched him against palace even though we still won but he's been playing amazing so far we saw on the ball back into that right back cross in but he can't get it in walker peters clear it out can it be halftime already yes it is brilliant performance here in the first half can we continue the second half definitely chile is on the ball now chile Already in kickoff. He's already looking for some danger here. It's Chele. It's still Chele. Chele. What are you going to do here? Chele. It's still Chele. Chele. No. Unbelievable. If he does something here. Chele. It's just... No, yeah. He didn't do anything. Imagine, bro. Imagine the scenes if he would have scored another solo goal like that. We saw it to Ivan Tony. Tony on the ball. Gives it to Onyeka. It's Onyeka. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Walker Peters. Great defender. Come on. Yes, Walker Peters. Great tackle. And now it's Hudson Adoy. Oh, what are you doing? Tony, okay, we win it here. We lose it. And then we're meant to, okay, we clear it out. And now it's J JWP. JWP, we're making this counter attack. I do see Ad Stuart Armstrong. I was gonna give it to Adam, but it's Stuart. Stuart on the ball. I do see Adam. Get it to Adam. Oh, Adam win it. Yes, Adam. Get the goal, please. Perfect episode. Oh, that would have been the perfect episode if they would have done the Armstrong connection here. But we're gonna make some substitutions. I want to give Adam Arma a rest. He's, I want to give Broca a chance to score because he hasn't scored in the Premier League. We're taking out both wingers here today. Jenepo and Tella are coming on. Let's just go ahead and switch Jenepo's position because we need him as a right winger rather than a cam. And what am I doing? I can't do it. There we go. And yeah, that should be good. So we're changing completely the attack. Give him a chance to score a couple goals because these players don't score a lot of goals. Through ball into Ivan Tony. But Levermento is going to beat him. Yes, he does. Levermento is goaded in this game, bro. Salisu. It's Benrek into Stuart Armstrong into JWP. JWP holds the ball into Diallo. Diallo, get there. Oh, Diallo, get there. It's the oh my god, he's so good in this game, actually. Chele into Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong, can you get there? And he does win it. It's Adam Arma. Adam Arma, before he gets up. Adam Arma. It's still Adam Arma. What are you going to do? Oh, he got outpowered. Like, there's no way. I was just trying to hold the ball as long as possible. But Diallo, Diallo is really good. I need to start playing him a little bit more. Maybe for Romeo instead. But we do make the substitutions. Let's see what they can do. Brentford trying to look for this counter attack. But Diallo wins another ball. Dude, Diallo. Nah, Diallo's actually shining. I'm going to give him a start again in the next game. He's performing really well. Great tackle. Benerik. Oh, but now it's Ivan Tony. No, we have to get clean sheet. Okay, Salisu. Hold it. Onyeka. Johnstone. Yes, keeping that clean sheet. We need to get more clean sheets with you. Johnstone, you saved yourself right there. We start crossing. Chele clears it out. And now it's J JWP. JWP on the ball. I see Jenepo making that run. Get the through ball. And yes, Jenepo 1v1 against the goalkeeper. Get your first Premier League goal. It's Jenepo. Jenepo. I don't know if he's left or right footed, but I'm going for his left. Jenepo. Jenepo with the finish. And let's go. It's over. The final nil in the coffin. 3 0, boys. It's just. We're performing really well today. JWP with an another assist. Beautiful pass by JWP. Jennifer, easy finish. Gets his first goal in the Premier League season, I do believe. Yes, boys. After a difficult start to this season, we're back in form. Two out of two victories so far in this game. We have one more game left. All the players over the moon. After a tough start, we did stick together. They did keep me in the job. And we're paying off right now. We're doing really, really well. Dude, and boys, I'm so thankful. But Chele and Armstrong is discussing Diallo. Shout out to Diallo, man. Diallo performed really well. I'm going to give him another start in the next game. We're winning the league. Okay, maybe not. But we're in 13th place. 
the highest we've been this season and boys it's so good to see we're out of that relegation zone but at any moment we can drop off but we Brentford only have three points so if we would have lost i've been embarrassing but we have five points uh, leeway to get into that relegation zone, so but that doesn't mean we should take every game lightly from now on. Okay, boys, we're against 14th place West Ham, so this has to be a must-win game for us. The mid-table like us, also fighting for relegation. Earlier, they were in 18th place, but I did promise DLO he's going to play because you guys may have not seen a lot, but he played out of his skin, bro. Just the amount of balls he intercepted and won. Why is Adam Armstrong all because he's not a striker? We'll probably switch him back after this game, but Nathan Teller is going to start today. Adam Armstrong just... I mean, Stuart Armstrong has not been it so far. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. And yeah, like I said, we're working the same lineup. Dello back in the side again and Nathan Tello as well. Okay, boys. It's been a, such a good episode. And the good episode is going to continue now with the epic music back on. And boys, we're at the London Stadium. The West Ham fans or something else. Not like to you. I, I feel like I say that about every club, but a lot of the Premier League's fans are like crazy like nothing compares to the Dortmund fans though but the West Ham fans the West Ham team is really good I have no idea why they're struggling in this career mode so far in real life they're absolutely killing it as well but <sighs> it's gonna be a tough tough game we have to kind of forget about the past games we can't have a chip on our shoulder we have to just stay humble and continue to perform like how we're performing like I said this West Ham side is very dangerous Ariola and goals very very good Maybe a little bit harder score. I'm just glad they don't have Antonio in. I don't know if they sold him. If they sold him, I'd be over the moon because we don't have to play against them. But the two boys right there, Adam Armstrong and Chathams, and they did tell up, but mainly those two, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, man. They're just performing really amazing so far. But let's go ahead and get into this game and hopefully pick up this victory. Easy interception for Salisu. And now it's Walker Peters into Diallo. Diallo into Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse into Adam Armstrong. Adam Arma into Chele. Chele back into Adam Arma. It's Adam Arma. Back into Chele. Look at this duo. Chele with the shot. Oh my god, dude. This duo almost got another goal, bro. They're, they're, I'm telling you, they're gross, bro. They're disgusting. They're just performing really well. Uh oh, Avila into Vlasic. Vlasic now. Vlasic. Let's be careful. Great interception. <gasps> Brama miss. Oh, Johnstone. Johnstone, you're actually goaded, bro. You're actually goaded. You're actually goaded. No, 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 no. I'm sorry for benching you all those times. You're actually goaded. I, I messed up there and you saved us right now. Cho into Adam Arma. Adam Arma, we're looking for that counter attack after that shot. And no, it's a great tackle. I'm telling you, this is going to be a tough game, bro. Vlasic. Vlasic again. Vlasic into Sari Benrama. Whoever that is, Avila. Oh my god, great save by Johnstone. Oh, we're struggling right now. We're not performing like we were performing earlier in the episode. And now it's Diallo into Adam Arma. Back into Chele. It's Chele. Chele holding that ball. Looking for Adam Armstrong's run. Chele into Adam Armstrong. Again, this duo is hitting. And now it's Adam Armstrong. Into Chele. Chele, finish that. Chele. Dude, nah. Nah. Nah, what am I going to do? Who, how am I going to call player of the episode? How? How am I going to call the player of the episode? They're just... Okay, leave down below right now. Because, I, like, I, I don't know who's going to be player of the episode for the, this episode. Leave down below in the comments who is going to be Adam Armstrong or Chele. Because these boys... Like, absolutely disgusting in this episode. Like, the amount of goals both of them have scored between them. I wish it was Ch Chele and Armstrong uh, goal contributions, but it's Armstrong and Armstrong. But, boys, like, they've been absolutely crazy in today's episode, bro. Great tackle by Benarek. Oh, my God. The fans are finally kicking on. And now it's Cho. Into Adam Armstrong. He's going to get it back to Cho. And now it's Cho on that run. It's still Cho. What are you going to do here? Cho. It's Cho. It's still Cho. Okay, nice, Cho. Cho. Okay, keep it here. And now it's JWP. Into Chele. Chele. Into Diallo. Diallo, hold it. Diallo, be patient. Into Walker Peters. Into Nathan Tella. And Nathan Tella on the ball. Into Chele. Chele's on the ball. Chele, what are you going to do here? Back into Nathan Tella for your first goal all this season, please. Dude, Nathan Tella just can't score, but it's Adam Arma still. It's Adam Arma. Adam Arma. Oh, okay, JWP wins it though. And now it's Chele. Chele, first time finish shot. Oh, brilliant shot. And it is blocked. Vlas is just looking dangerous in this game. We can, we can do with him for a signing, to be fair. Stuart Armstrong hasn't been the best. Well, at least he started off really well, but he slowed down just a little bit. Now it's Adam Arma. Adam Marma into Chele. Chele's making that run. Ah, oh, this duo. This duo is dirty. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe it's not dirty right now. But no, no. Johnstone. Oh my god, Johnstone. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting performance by Sam Johnstone today. Johnstone, what are you doing? Look at the ball. <laughs> what computers? Into Diallo. No, Diallo. Win that. Come on, Diallo. Prove me why you want to continue starting. Ah, oh, yes, Diallo. Diallo's so good, bro. Tell her. Ah, oh, we're gonna go on that kind of attack. But it's 1-0. Great start to this. I mean, dodgy start to this half. We started off really bad. West Ham were dominating us, but we do pick up that goal, and that's all that matters. But let's go ahead into the second half, and hopefully we perform slightly better. Okay, Diallo into Cho. Cho into Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong's going to hold it. Okay, he has the space. He's going to dribble. Adam Armstrong. 
I don't mark song. I do see Chele making that run. It's a great bond to Chele. It's Chele. Chele. I do see Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy with the finish. Hudson Adoy with the goal. That's like his third goal of the episode as well. He's doing really well, but I, I still believe Chele and Adam Armstrong are the men for the player of the episode. I don't know who though. So you guys have to leave down below. Like I said, Chele gets another assist, bro. We're performing out of our skin today. It's absolutely amazing. This team is finally kicking on, like I said, and it's 2-0 now. Chele, look, picks up the ball. Look, back heel because he knows Cho is there. And Cho, easy finish into that top-ish, right? But it's 2-0 now, boys. We're unstoppable. Great interception by Salisu once again, bro. Even Salisu could be player of the episode, too. He's been performing so well. Alex Craw. Craw into Avila. Avila with a shot. Oh, my God. Johnstone. Also, Johnstone, bro. The, the whole team is just performing really well. Okay, Salisu into Chele. Chele into Adam Arma. It's Adam Arma on the ball. Adam Arma into Nathan Tella. And now it's Nathan Tella. What is he going to do here? Tella. I'm looking for his first goal. But we're going to cross it instead into Chele. Ah, too early of a cross in my opinion. On the ball. Verama. But Walker Peters wins it. But he loses it once again. It's Avila into... Av oh, no. Avila. Ah, Vlasic into Avila. And we do concede. Johnstone, after such an amazing performance, this is his clean sheet today. Come on. Bermento. Ward Prowse. Adam Arma. Adam Arma into Chele. And now it's Chele. It's still Chele. It's Chele on the ball. It's still Chele. Into Suchek. Oh, Suchek is so good. We use him in the West Ham. We know how good he is. Okay. No. Avila. Of course, we can't ever finish an episode on a high. Of course, we can't, right? Of course, we can't. They have to... We're actually going to tie it to West Ham. No, 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 no. We cannot go back to this form. Come on, boys. We cannot go back to this form. Someone has to score right now. Oh, what is going on, bro? We just... Oh, I don't, I don't want to tie. I, don't, I really don't want to tie, bro. Chele, Chele, who's gonna help him? We, he needs help. Come on, it's a team effort. Chele, into Diallo, Diallo into Ward Prowse. Uh, hold it, Ward Prowse. Be careful. Now it's Benerik. Benerik on the ball. Benerik. Nobody's moving. Somebody move. Okay, Chele, Chele, it's Chele. Adam Arma, Adam Arma. Chamos, foul, foul, foul. Thank you. Oh my God. We don't score free kicks. We actually don't score free kicks. We don't ever score free kicks. I don't want to shoot it. Can we give it to Adam Arma instead? Okay, Salisu, Ward Prowse. What is that pass, Salisu? Come on. Diallo, Tella. Into Adam Arma. Adam Arma, get past, get, past, uh, get past the crowd, bro. No, we're actually going to tie this game. We're actually going to tie this game. No, 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 no. We still have time. Five minutes left to go. Oh, my God. No, uh oh, through ball. We might actually not tie this game. We might actually lose this game. And now it's Vlasic. Vlasic, I'm telling you, Vlasic has been looking dangerous this whole game. Into Berrama. Through ball. Into crowd. That's outside, yeah. 100%. That's outside. I'm not even worried. That's outside, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Two minutes left. We have an attack left. Approximately an attack left. And now it's Nathan Tella. Tella into Chele. Chele into Diallo. Diallo. Someone make a run. I see Chele making that run. And now it's Chele. Chele. Save us this game. Chele. Uh, Chele. Cross it in. Whatever. Okay. So Chele. Tella. Tella into Diallo. 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 Adam. Oh my god. I have no space. Cho. Cho turn. Cho. Pen. 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 Pen ref. Pen ref. We drew two. We drew to West Ham when we were winning the whole game, bro. Nah, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. That just ruins the whole mood. That that actually ruined my whole mood, bro. We should have won this game. Of course, it wouldn't be an episode without us just disappointing ourselves. But we can't take away the fact it's an awesome episode, okay? We picked up two wins the first time ever we do that back to back. Okay, with that draw, it puts us back down to earth, bro. But we're still in 13th place, which is really good to see. Like I said, in the next episode, we have the January transfer window. So we're, next episode, we're playing Tottenham and we're playing Newcastle. So make sure to leave down your suggestions down below. But boys, I would like to say it's a banging episode, okay? We picked up two wins. A draw is not too bad. Six out of nine points. Should have been nine out of nine, but it's okay. We move on. I forgot to set a like goal, so we're gonna go ahead and set a like goal. Make sure to smash that like button because today's like goal is 12 likes. We did 12 instead of 20. We did aim high last time, and I did we achieve it? I haven't even checked. Maybe we did, but anyways, if you guys do go on and enjoy this video, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. Get notified anytime we do post. Like I said, today was such a banging episode. Just a reminder once again, leave your chance suggestions down below for the next episode as well. Ask some QA questions. And anyway, you should always do the things that you love, the things that make you happy. Just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Joy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day, yeah? Chamos.